2009 Margaret Brent Award recipient, Helene Barnett. Helene's parents imbued in their children an unwavering belief in social justice, and it became the guiding principle of Helene's life. So from an early age, Helene knew she wanted to be a lawyer so she could help those unable to represent themselves and to use the law as a means of correcting inequities and abuses in society. Helene attended Cornell University and later transferred to Barnard College upon her engagement to Victor J. Barnett, an Englishman from London. The couple married at the end of her junior year and she and her husband recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary, matching a milestone set by her parents. Helene attended law school as a part-time student at New York University School of Law Night School. Her husband not only fully supported her desire to go to law school, but paid for her to do so. In addition to her heavy course load, Helene found the time and energy to give birth to her beloved sons Craig and Roger by the time she graduated in 1964. After being admitted to the bar, Helene embarked on a 37-year career with the Legal Aid Society as a staff attorney for the Civil Division. In 1983, while representing frail, elderly women nursing home residents, she brought the first civil contempt motion in New York's highest court against the State Commissioner of Health for failing to keep the nursing home open in violation of a court order. This ruling established that government officials, like anybody else, had to obey a court order. In 1985, Helene created and assumed direct responsibility for the Legal Aid Society's Homeless Families Rights Project, which dealt primarily with women and children and has been the leading legal advocate for the protection of the rights of homeless families in New York City. One of the Legal Aid Society's major accomplishments was the legal aid response to the tragedy of 9-11. Legal aid attorneys staffed the city's disaster centers seven days a week for more than 10 months, providing assistance to over 8,500 individuals. It was a shining hour for the legal aid staff, and Elaine was never more proud of her colleagues or of the work they do. After retiring from the Legal Aid Society at the end of 2003, Helene joined the Legal Services Corporation, where she was appointed the first woman president in 2004. Nearly 75% of LSC's clients are women, and of the almost 10,000 staff in LSC-funded programs, approximately three-quarters are women. Nurturing and encouraging young women attorneys and advocating for diversity among staff were the most rewarding aspects of her job at the Legal Aid Society and continue to be so at the Legal Services Corporation. Now in her sixth year, Helene is the longest serving LSC president. Helene represents LSC in its relationship with Congress and obtains bipartisan support by meeting with key senators and representatives, but she is most proud of two projects. Her quality initiative included the revision of LSC's performance criteria and a pilot leadership mentoring project to provide guidance on the importance of mentoring to ensure a well-trained, diverse pool of future legal services leaders. And the 2005 Justice Gap Report was the first comprehensive national statistical study which demonstrated the significant shortage of civil legal assistance available to low-income Americans. It shaped the dialogue for LSC and the Congress to obtain more funding. But Helene's life and career are best summed up in her own words. I have attempted to seek a balance in my life between my career and family, as a wife, mother, and grandmother, both of which have been extraordinarily rewarding. I will always remain passionately committed to providing access to civil legal assistance for all as an essential element of securing justice. It is because of her commitment and with deep gratitude that the ABA Commission on Women in the Profession is proud to present its 2009 Margaret Brent Women Lawyers of Achievement Award to Helene Barnett.